this complex project by the Venerable Historical Society of Cheshire County reimagined the use of its beloved 1762 Tavern Building as the Society repositions itself for the future. With a strong design and construction team, it met varied public and institutional needs with sound planning, rehabilitation and restoration of the tavern and an adjacent historic building. The trustees faced the challenge of preserving Wyman Tavern while addressing growing space needs head on when they developed the Society's five-year strategic plan in 2012. They recognized, as have other successful historical societies across America, that people support organizations that are vital and provide continuing benefits that suit present needs. The master plan that followed included evaluating the tavern and the society's headquarters at the Ball Mansion, as well as determining the long-term archival storage needs. After examining options, the society purchased the Bruder House from Keene State College, converting the second floor into archival storage and creating a first floor visitor center for the next door Wyman Tavern. This allowed for only minimal renovations to the tavern. Built in the Georgian style, the tavern was in operation as a public house for 40 years. The trustees of Dartmouth College met at the tavern to hold their first meeting in 1770. Five years later, 29 Minutemen gathered at the tavern to march to Lexington. In 1968, the building became the Society's Historic House Museum after being a private home for 170 years. LCHIP funded high quality restoration work at the Wyman Tavern, included repairs to all major exterior elements. With minor renovations to the L, not original to the building, the design construction team installed a platform lift to provide accessibility to the first floor. A new heating and cooling system and electrical systems were carefully installed with minimal disturbance to the historic fabric of the building. Work on the exterior of the 1839 Bruder House included repairs to the slate roof, repointing all exterior brickwork, restoring the main entrance door and side lights and painting. An existing porch on the south side of the building was repaired and a new porch was constructed on the north side of the building overlooking the tavern. Site work included a new patio and walkway leading to the tavern. A new wood fence visually unifies the two properties. A new timber frame pavilion features an exterior brick fireplace and oven for 18th century cooking demonstrations. Comprehensive rehabilitation work also included adapting the first floor into an accessible meeting room, visitor center, toilet rooms, and food preparation kitchen. It had previously been renovated into housing for Keene State College students and very little of the original interior fabric of the building remained. Walnut trees had to be removed from both properties for this project and the Bruder House walnut floors are a character defining element. In keeping with this project's strong commitment to preservation and education, the trees were cut and milled on site, kiln dried, and milled into floorboards which were then installed in the meeting room and gift shop. The entire process was documented and is used as a teaching experience. An example of excellence repeated again and again in this project.